evening church good evening as we continue our advent journey tonight and each evening through christmas eve my name is reverend bob demyanovich and i am the pastor here at cast city united methodist church and i just want to welcome each and every one of you who are watching during this advent season as we share our advent lessons each evening at 6 p.m Please don't forget that on Sundays, we share our children's Advent message at 7 p.m. And you will have three ways to watch. You can watch on Facebook, YouTube, or on our website, www.castcityumc.org, and clicking on Advent Devotionals. On Christmas Eve, we'll be holding our Christmas Eve worship at 6 p.m. at Cass City united methodist church will you join us let us pray heavenly father so this evening may be holy good and peaceful let us pray with one heart and one mind lord we pray for those who are lost alone and forgotten during this advent and this week of hope joy and peace as our evening prayer rises before you, O oh God, may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Our gospel reading for this evening is from Luke 1, 39 through 56 of the New International Version. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill her promises to her. Mary's song, and Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is His name. His mercy extends to those who fear Him from generation to generation. He performed mighty deeds with His arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their innermost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, and He has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things. He has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for about three months and then returned home. Amen. As we continue our Advent story, the story of Christmas, Visit to Elizabeth by Sherry Craig. Enjoy the message. Elizabeth sat on the ground, heels tucked beneath her, and kneaded the dough in the bowl in front of her. A strand of gray hair slipped from beneath her head, covering and clung to the perspiration running down her temple. After a moment, she grimaced, sat straight up, and rubbed her aching lower back. Then she placed one hand under her heavy abdomen to support it and struggle to her feet. Slowly, she shuffled over to the bench in a shady corner of the yard and plopped down. She closed her eyes for a moment and laid one hand tenderly across her stomach. Ooh, she cried out in surprise, her eyes flying open as the baby suddenly kicked. The old woman patted the place where the tiny foot had struck and she began to laugh. At first, she chuckled softly, then louder and louder, until tears rolled down her soft and wrinkled cheeks. When her laughter subsided, she gazed tenderly down at her abdomen, now still and quiet, and shook her head in awe. 
how could this be? How could she, Elizabeth, conceive a child in her old age after a lifetime of barrenness? Elizabeth turned her face to the sky and held her hands to heaven and prayed, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 106, 1. A moment later, she walked back across the courtyard, bent to pick up the kneading bowl and carried it to the beehive-shaped oven. The fire she began earlier that morning had burned down to coals, heating the fragments of pottery that lined the walls of the oven. Expertly, she plucked a portion of the dough, rolled it between her palms, flattened it, and then tossed it in through the opening where it stuck out onto the wall inside. The bread break quickly. Soon the kneading bowl was empty and a large platter nearby was piled high with fragment discs of bread. Elizabeth picked up the platter and gratefully made her way across the yard to cool interior of her home. A short time later, she sat mending a tear in one of Zachariah's robes where she heard a familiar voice call out in greeting. Elizabeth. Her cousin Mary stepped through the door immediately. The baby in Elizabeth's womb began to leap for joy, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She stood and began to prophesy loudly as she crossed the room to Mary. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear, Elizabeth said. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me. As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in the womb leaped for joy. Blessed is he who believed that the Lord would fulfill her promises to her. Luke 1, 42 through 45. Mary's eyes filled with tears of happiness. She stepped forward and placed one hand on each side of Elizabeth's abdomen. The baby rolled and kicked at her touch. Life, Elizabeth's long barren room, was filled with miraculous, abundant life. The angel's word came back to Mary, driving her away, all doubt and fear, for nothing will be impossible with God. Mary didn't understand how she, a virgin, could conceive the child the angel promised. She didn't know how she would avoid the shame and potential punishment that accompanied unwed mothers in her culture. Mary had no idea how she would provide for herself and for a child in the long years to come. But it wasn't her job to know it was God's. He only asked that she trust him moment by moment, day by day. Deep inside Mary's heart, a knot of anxiety and fear untangled as she released everything into God's hands. She took Elizabeth by the hand and led her back to her seat. Then Mary sat on the floor beside her and laid her head against Elizabeth's knee. As the tears of relief and surrender flowed down her cheeks, gently Elizabeth stroked Mary's hair as a young girl lifted her praises to God. My soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. One, the mighty one, has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him. From generation to generation, he has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their most innermost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones. He has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things. He has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. Lord, thank you for Elizabeth. When young Mary was afraid and needed support, Elizabeth spoke blessing and comfort into her life. Give us godly friends who strengthen our faith in the moments when you call seems too difficult and the road feels too steep. Empower us, Holy Spirit, to speak words of courage, life, and faith 
over our brothers and sisters. May we together not only celebrate your advent with joy, but strengthen each other as we work to further your good and just kingdom on this earth. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, we thank you for giving us the task of serving you in the name of your servant, Jesus Christ, for letting each of us have a part in carrying out your will. Keep us true to this service. We want to be faithful, always listening to you. For you open our ears and help us know your will will and we respond to it. Be with us these days. Strengthen your love and compassion for all our hearts. May the life of Jesus Christ gain greater and greater power in all people on earth. Amen. Thank you for tuning in this evening and every evening. Share this Advent devotional with others and go in peace.